fight club, we can buy some of what you, what you gon' do, what you gon' do, we just need some advice, you are looking Welcome to Persona Q2, New Cinema Labyrinth. That's right, today we begin our playthrough on this brand new game, and I'm a little excited, okay? As I'm sure a lot of you know, I'm a huge fan of the Persona series, and I love making videos on the games, and just... Man, I'm so pumped. I just cannot believe I'm about to play a brand new Persona game today. And that, that's all I can say. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, this is going to be a 100% walkthrough. I'm pretty good, I think, at some of the Atlas games. So there's going to be a lot of information being tossed out. But trust me, even if this is your first Persona game, I'm going to get to the end. No problem. So... Before we do anything though, we gotta choose our difficulty and man, this song is good. Oh man, I'm pumped up. So, usually we wait till the very end for the most challenging opponents to turn on the risky difficulty. Cause as it says, you can't turn it down once you go to that level. But in case you just wanna play the game for the story or you don't really care for the game's challenge, safety is totally an option. There's nothing wrong with that. But starting off, we're just gonna go with normal because what can I say? That's pretty much the standard. And as far as our protagonist's name, sadly, we can't actually go with the protagonist's true canon name. So I'm going to give him my own name. And I do not have my stylus. Instead, I'm using like Link's sword from a figure I have. I probably need to find the stylus because this game uses the bottom screen heavily. So keep that in mind if you're proceeding forward. But this name fits them with the character limitations, and it sounds kind of good. So with that being taken care of, we're finally ready to start the game. So let's go. What? <laughs> that's how the game starts? You get one quote from a dead guy, and that's it. Hey. Hey, get up. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be really confusing if you've never played Persona before, but... Jeez, you're finally awake. Well, this has been over for a while now. Uh, But I want to watch more of that movie. It was literally like one second long with the crud. Are you still half asleep or something? Yes, but that's what's okay. My head feels like it's spinning. Hey, are you sure you're feeling okay? Do you have some kind of weird dream? Shujin High, Class 2D. Guess I fell asleep. Again. Well, now you're up. Let's go back home. We need to figure out our plans for the rest of the day. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna argue with you, Mona. <laughs> you're the boss here, not me. <laughs> the whole day is gonna blow by if you keep fooling around. You need to make better use of your time. Now let's get out of here. All right, I'm not gonna object. Here we go. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I didn't know they showed this. Hey, my man! Hell yeah! Another day of class complete. Man, that was hellish. Uh, so sleepy. Uh, you too. Come on, Ryuji, pull yourself together. Don't get all lazy on us now. Uh, a little too late for that. <laughs> nah. 
I've just had a hard time falling asleep lately. Bam, these stuff on my mind and all, you know. Getting so bad, I slept through most of my classes today. Uh-oh, crap. Is that what you do every day? <laughs> Shut up! So what are we doing now? Our time limit's still ways off, but who cares? Let's all meet up at the hideout anyway. Uh, I don't know about you, bro. I want some food. Can we do that first? Uh, too cool for the gang, huh? Then again, I could go for a bowl myself. Uh, hey, it's too early for dinner. We should meet up at the hideout. Oh, crud, it's our... Uh, hello, everyone. Ooh, perfect timing. We're just talking about heading to the hideout. I'm free for the rest of the day. I've had more time now that things have settled down in the company. Oh, so I guess it's... Huh. So it's that point in the timeline of the game. Gotcha. But Ryuji, send word out to everyone. Okay, I'm on it. Let's all meet up at the hideout. Yeah. Dang, that was fast! No, well, everyone says we're down to meet at LeBlanc. Shall we then? Cool. Oh man. Gosh, I'm getting so nostalgic. Sorry, I'm just like taking it all in, man. I miss these guys so much. And that makes it unanimous. We're infiltrating mementos today. Sound good, Futaba? Mm, yes, sir. Navigating at the ready. Yeah. Okay, so Futaba Sakura, code name Oracle. You should know all of this already. She's one of the most popular characters. I'm not gonna read them all. You guys know these characters. Come on, right? Maybe you don't, but that's your problem, not mine. Compared to the rest of you, I'm still rather ex inexperienced, but I'm not gonna let you down. I know you won't, Haru. I can't wait to play with you. Haru Kumara. Codename Noir. She's our senpai from Shujin High. Yeah, well, one of them, I guess. You're doing totally fine, Haru. You've been improving so fast. Yeah, for real. Mostly because of diminishing returns, though, but you know. <laughs> On to Kamaki. Codename Panther. She's one quarter American, and don't you forget it, you. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, hey, Makoto. Memento's action's fine and all, but how are we on the palace infiltration front? No issue there. It'd be best for us to hone our skills and mementos, so we can be better prepared for the palace. Yeah, our other senpai, Makoto Nijima, queen, third year in student council president. She's kind of a big deal. Oh man, I enjoy exploring mementos. There's so much inspiration to take away from there. Uh, if you say so, boss. Yusuke Kitagawa, codename Fox. He's a, what? I thought he was a third year for. I don't know why I thought that, but he's a Kosei High. He's he's kind of he's kind of the greatest. I don't know. I, I love all these characters so much. It's hard for me to pick. I've got to say, I'm really curious about that place too. I can just tell something odd's going on there. And the pseudo leader Morgana, codename Mona. He's a talking cat. Yeah, but he'll argue otherwise. But whatever. Well, Palace and Mementos. We're just gonna do what we always do. He's got a point. It is rather straightforward. <laughs> Ryuji Sakamoto, codename Skull, and our best buddy, yeah. Oh, uh, where's that guy? This is the first time heading Mementos, right? I guess we could always ditch him. Oh, crud. Nope, there he is, no! Uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, 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 speak of the devil! <laughs> Again, my apologies for being late. Work's been keeping my hands quite full. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure that it is. Uh, Goro Kechi, codename Crow. A totally nice guy who the babes totally love. N nothing weird about him at all. So I've overheard that we're going to some place called... Mementos? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you have fun. Roger that. <laughs> My codename is Joker. I'm a second year at Shujin High and the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I'm currently living in Cafe LeBlanc. I've been on probation due to a false accusation leveled against me. Well, that's everyone. Well, it's time to get to it, I guess. Gosh, that was so cool. 
but also so overkill because we've seen the animation a thousand times, but... Another brilliant victory, Joker! Mementos. So this place was formed by society's collective unconsciousness. That makes it the entire population's palace. That seems to be another different form of a cognitive world. But yeah, only Japan. We, we don't talk about that, though. Who knows what lies within its steps? It strikes at the heart of my intellectual curiosity. <laughs> On the other hand, it's pretty frightening as well. I still remember hating this place when we first started coming here. If we keep dallying like this, we're gonna end up meeting some mobs. Mona, you ought to transform. <laughs> Mona? <laughs> Mona? What's the matter, Mona-chan? Uh, sorry. It's just that Mementos feels different than usual. Are you sure? It looks the same to me. Better for worse. Um, different how? Eh, ain't this what it always looks like? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, Joker, what do you think? Yeah, this place sucks. I, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't see a difference. For real. Oh? It seems I lack the training necessary to sense it. <laughs> it's okay, Yusuke. It's not a big deal. Feels the same as always to me. Hmm, I guess it's just my imagination. Anyway. Transformation time! Back up, everyone. I can't believe this cat turns into a car. What a fascinating world this is. Oh gosh, I don't want to pee. <laughs> uh, well then, yeah. Ugh. Now it's even more cramped! And here thanks to the new guy! I'm sorry, but if I'd followed you all on foot, I would have been able to keep up. <laughs> yeah, nothing he can do about it, Ryuji. To be totally honest, I'm pretty sure we've always been over max capacity. <laughs> True. Mona-chan, are you okay? Uh, what do you think you've been talking to here? Just relax and leave it to... Uh, um, you were saying? Uh, what was that? Me, 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 I don't want to get... Meow, wow, wow! <laughs> Whoa, Queen, what's the deal? Try out some wild max-style driving? Uh, it's not me. The wheel's moving by itself. What's happening? I don't know. Is all of our weight causing a problem? I don't think that would cause this. Perhaps we ate, we ate something off the ground. <laughs> Only you would do that, Yusuke. Uh, I'm never! Oh, no, I've lost all control! Oh, crap. Ah! みんな大丈夫か死ぬかと思っ あったかも。Okay, that's that's how we get here, I guess. Hey everyone, look at the meta nav. It's not working. Something's wrong here. Uh, yeah, no duh. Everyone's got the same error screen? So everyone's apps bugged out at the same time? What? No, that seems highly unlikely. We need to gather more information. Maybe we could find a clue to this if we looked around the area? Oh, hey. <laughs> Crap, a cop! Uh, um, wait a sec. Look at his uniform. That's not for Japan's police. Yeah. Looks like some foreign cop's uniform. 
Kind of reminds me of ones I've seen in FPSs. Uh huh. Seems like he's not a shadow either. Okay, this is already starting weird. Then maybe we should try to ask him where we are? Uh, talk to a cop in these clothes. Uh, yeah, Makoto, go for it. You, you got this. <laughs> um, me? Yeah, you're good bait. Uh, if you end up aggroing him, just threaten him with your spikes. <laughs> what? <sighs> Fine. I suppose it was my idea in the first place. All right, I'll give it a try. But if something goes wrong, I need you all to back me up. Uh, right behind you, Queen. Don't don't sweat it. Uh, this is a legitimately weird premise, even for Persona. But um, excuse me. Uh, whoa there! What's with the get up? <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> Especially with the Queen doing it. She looks like she's just stepped out of Wild Max. <laughs> and should we get our actress to do this? Uh, we're added to a costume party. But we've gotten ourselves lost. Uh, such a cliche answer. <laughs> hey, but if it works, that's what makes it perfect. A uh, party, eh? Well, some pretty elaborate costumes. Oh, he actually bought it? That was easier than we expected. <laughs> Perhaps our ostentatious styles help to bolster our credibility. Hmm. So what's the problem? It's if it's not too much trouble. Could you tell us where we are right now? Uh... It's the first ward of Kamo City. Do you know anything about the Megapolis? Uh, what a crappy name. Never heard of a Joker? Uh, yeah, literally just now. <laughs> for real? Well, it doesn't ring a bell for me. Maybe it's a new theme park or something? Uh, I don't think so. Y'all acting awfully suspicious. Where'd y'all come from? Say y'all came from? I don't remember nothing. Uh, we came from that away. Yeah, bro. You ever heard of it? Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. And which way is that? Oh, crap. He's not buying it. Hmm. This is not going well. Y'all are pretty shady. Let's hear what y'all been up to around here. And don't feed me any more lines. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We really are from. Uh oh. What the crud? Already? This is the best place in the world, but oh no, back up. Tons of them! Those masked individuals are behaving suspiciously. Arrest them immediately! Oh, uh, Roger that. We'll take the charge. <laughs> oh crap, kick the bricks! Uh, sorry! Uh, go! Don't let them get away! Crap. Wait, where are we running? Uh, we have a person for that. Futaba, get on it! Uh, it's just a sec. Let's see. Escape route, escape route. Um, uh, over there! <laughs> Literally. Joker, go that way! It should be all clear in that direction. All right, well, let's go, guys. On it! And here we are introduced to the main mechanic of Persona Q. This game is a 2D dungeon crawler, and right here is the dungeon, but I'll explain that when we aren't being chased by the police. Hey, look out. We got enemies coming up. What, what? Wait, what are these guys, shadows? Probably. They seem different from the ones we've seen, though. Uh, this makes no sense. Yeah, <laughs> really does it. At any rate, let's concentrate on finding our way out of here as quickly as possible. Yeah! She's right. We have police tailing us. Skull! Let's go handle them. Got it! Let's do this! I'll assist as well. We'll leave the ones on your end to you, Joker. Okay. I'm on it. Oh, that's a cool transition. Holy crud. So, here we go. Our first battle of PQ2, and it's pretty rad. I love the combat system in this game, and I can't wait to talk about it, but I've never seen that shadow before, but let's hurry and kick his butt. Does he even have a butt? Uh, my body feels weird. Uh, wait, why? I, I can't gather up my strength like usual either. You too? So it's not just me? Oh, crap. We'll have to figure out later. Here it comes! Alright, so, these shadows, if you've only played Persona 5, might look a little bit different, but back in my day, these were the staples, but let's get started and choose our attacks. So, in PQ, basically, you pick all of your moves for your team, and then the enemy team picks all their moves, and whoever's fastest goes first. And honestly, I don't, I don't know if any of this matters, I'm just gonna go crazy and we'll figure it out as we go. Let's do Garu there, and let's Aggie the back row. So, usually, for the most part, you want your physical attackers up in the front, your magic casters in the back, because this game functions with a row system, and 
Wow, we're actually kind of slow. I guess that has to do with the metaverse and oh, sin! Oh my gosh. All right, took out the guy in the back. Man, everyone else isn't gonna be able to do anything, but man, they changed the uh, persona artwork. Honestly, a bit for the better, because man, it looks really good on 3DS. At least the like static artwork does. And with that, we've won our first battle and the police have still somehow not caught up to us. That's crazy, but uh, yeah. But what were we doing before? Oh yeah, running away from them. We really can use our personas here. What, in a game called Persona, what? Since we're still in Phantom Thief attire, does that mean this place is still inside Mementos? Except we cannot use our guns. Right, they turned into ordinary model guns. For real? Maybe it's just yours. I'm gonna try mine out. <laughs> what the crap? He actually does. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, mine too? What the? So we can use our personas, but we can't use our guns. What up with this place? Um, we'll figure that out later. God, dude, we gotta peace out. What the? But since our guns don't work, does that mean we're not somewhere in Mementos? We can settle this later. Oh my God. Could this place possibly be unaffected by cognition? Uh, hey, I'm sensing another shadow. It's heading this way. What? There were more here? That's not all. This one's a lot different from those scrubs. It seems way more dangerous. Uh, what? What's going on here? I don't know, but we should avoid contact with it. I'll navigate. Here. Uh, head in the direction where there aren't any shadows. That sounds like a solid plan to me. So, which way are we supposed to run? Go straight. Just keep on going. Yeah, no. <laughs> seems good to me, and if you press down the B button, you can run just like in the other. Etrian Odyssey slash Persona Q games. I don't know what you call them. And is this a dead end? Isn't there any way out? Look, what's that? Um, good question. Uh, what? It's shining, but what is it? Hey, that's it. It looks like we can escape through there. It seems to be enemy free. Well, that sounds good to me. You sure? I think. <laughs> you think? What should we do, Joker? There's no other way out. Should we go for it? Yeah, why not? YOLO! I mean, I think it's the best plan. Hey, there's no time for debate. That shadow's closing in fast. It's right there. But, huh? What the, what the crap is that? What the F is that? <laughs> we have the same exact reaction. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Marvelous! Uh, I'm sensing an insane power from it. It's too dangerous for us. There's no time to think about it. Retreats are only option. Dang! Looks like we're all in. Everyone, jump! Before the chicken monster gets it. What the crud is the enemy design? Oh my gosh! Uh, Mabusina. Weird. Where the heck are we? It was a whole city just a second ago! Look. There's some kind of screen. Oh. Is this a movie theater? I don't really get out a lot, so I'm not sure. Um, Why are we the only ones here? It's kind of creepy. I genuinely have no clue what's going on. First we were in Mementos, then we ended up in some city. Now a movie theater? What? Oh, hey, our clothes. They're back to normal. Dang, I'm looking good. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Why only me? What's going on here? Mm, I'm fine. If all of our clothes have returned to normal, if we're truly still in the cognitive world, then we aren't seen as a threat here. I guess that makes sense. Although, it seems we can't use the metanav in here either. We seem to be somewhere different from that city, but still in a bizarre situation. Yeah, definitely not good. Hey, wait a sec. Where are Makoto and Haru? Uh, they're right he. Oh my god. Wait, wait, they're not here? No, what? Haru and Makoto. I, I care about them both. Uh, Could it be that we were separated? 
Uh, holy crap. For real? We have to find them. They might still be in that place that we just were. Uh, but how do we get back? We don't even know how we arrived here in the first place. I have a good enough idea, but... Hold on. Let's all calm down. They may be somewhere within this building. Oh yeah, true. There's a door right over there. Why don't we try exploring this room first? Uh, uh y y yeah! Uh, sorry, all this got me worked up. Understandable, I'd be a little freaked out too. I have plenty of comments on all of this, but finding Haru Makoto comes first. Yeah, uh, let's just be careful, y'all. I don't want to lose anyone else. <laughs> In that case, let's get going. Stay on your toes, everyone. Literally. Oh, hey, food. The concession stand. The prices are outrageous. <laughs> Popcorn and movie memorabilia. Line in the storefront. This looks <laughs> delicious. Uh, no eating without permission. Got it. We don't have money. <laughs> Maybe Haru Makoto are here? No, of course not. Let's keep looking. Okay. Gosh. Man, they really... They really went off with the design. This is a huge upgrade from the first Persona Q. That's all I gotta say, but... There's a ticket station here. Yeah. Looks like it's functional. I wonder what sort of tickets it prints. We may be able to find out. We insert some money into it. Not that I have any on me. Aw. Looks like there's no clues here. Let's keep moving. Alright, that's a nice way to do a little tutorial. You know, I like that. The sign on the door says authorized personnel only. Huh. Doesn't open. Crud. Authorized personnel only, eh? I guess it's only natural the door's locked then. For now. <laughs> I could flex my lockpicking skills. Or I could just flex. Maybe the door would be intimidated and open up. <laughs> but finding Makoto and Haru is more important right now. Let's get back to the search. Okay. I like how Makoto or uh, Mono like floats. Because he's so short. <laughs> <laughs> so gonna be on par with everyone else. That's hilarious. And the projection room. Cool. Whoa, never been in a projection room before. Me either. Now that you mention it. Is this huge thing the projector? Hey, don't go messing with that. Complex devices like projectors are delicate. But we know he's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Um, what the cr <laughs> cryptic black object? Yeah, I that fits. Oh my god! Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh my god! It's a shadow. What, what, what should I do for this guy? Um, <laughs> it's suspicious, but it doesn't seem to be an enemy. What is this thing? Uh, I'm gonna poke it. Preemptive attack. Yeah. I hope it doesn't attack you. Be careful, Akira. <laughs> what the crap? That was a lot of fun. I want to do that again. It feels really weird. <laughs> Are you okay? Nothing bad happened? It just goes boing boing when you poke it. Um. Okay, someone tried talking to it. This is weird. Um. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> no reply. It's just a boingy object. What? It does not speak, or move, or react to us at all. Perhaps this is some kind of doll? Uh, okay, it's just a doll, huh? It's way too big, though. At least make it one-seventh scale. <laughs> oh, God. That's pretty funny. It's still pretty big, though. Well, the ladies aren't here. Let's keep searching. Just leave this guy to his own devices, I guess. Gosh, it's no use. They're not here at all. We even found the whole row of doors that won't open. What's going on? This is all if we spirited away. This whole place is a true mystery. All signs do point to this being a movie theater. But something still feels off. We haven't found a trace of anyone else here. Yeah. Seriously, how the heck we end up here? Uh, I think we rose upwards. No, we jumped through the thing. Did you guys already forget what? Um, true. It felt more like a horizontal displacement than a vertical one. 
What? Uh, uh, but from where, man? Uh, hey, everybody, come, come here for a second. Eh. Maybe Morgana found something. Let's go over there, Akira. Okay, got nothing better to do, I guess. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's a gameplay mechanic if I've ever seen one. <sighs> what is it, Morgana? You find some kind of clue? Spit it out. Someone's trapped in a well. Ugh. Take a look at the door. Duh. Uh, what about it? It's all locked up. Weird. It appears to be the exit, but there are multiple thick chains on the door. And one of them's shaped like a dinosaur. The chains are held with four different padlocks. Spooky. What the heck is this? Such redundant security. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Wait. Does this mean we're trapped in here? Mm, abduction and confinement confirmed! <laughs> hey Morgana, can you pick them open? Uh, I gave it a shot, but it was useless. The keyholes aren't shaped like an ordinary key. If we did something about them, I bet we could get out of here. No, you think? Yeah, hey, leader, is there anything we can do? Uh, we gotta find the keys, easy peasy. That's it, really. Mm, you're giving up? No, I didn't say that. What? Accepting defeat with grace can be admirable, but let's not do that just yet. Shall we find the keys? Yeah, I, but I agree with you, Skay. Well, I already looked, but we can't find them or anything else. Not even a mouse. Not, not, not that I'd want a mouse because I'm a cat. While we're at it, how'd it go on your end? Any sign of Makoto or Haru? Not at all. We looked everywhere, too. Uh, we didn't see a single clue. Since the exit's chained up, it's doubtful they'll make it outside. What to do? Uh... Uh, hey! Why don't we try heading back to where we first woke up? Maybe they turned up since we started poking around here? Literally, because we poked at one guy and nothing happened. Hey, Lady On has a point. And there's no use worrying about it out here. Alright, let's head back.相変わらず君はいい場所だな。あ、今にも幽霊が化けててそうな。やめろ、いなり。ね、誰かいる。本当に出たか。ひ。ね、てめえら誰だ。警戒しろ。<笑> Well, hi there. Oh, crud, I need to think of a voice for her. Um, would you please stop that? You're frightening Hikari-san. Uh, uh, they're not enemies? Don't think so. Seems as much. A, a, a cat? <laughs> he apologized for startling you two. And you are... My name is Nagi. I'm the acting curator of this movie theater. A, a curator? So this movie theater isn't really abandoned. Uh, could it be that you've all been trapped in here as well? As well. Hmm. Do you mean the same thing happened to you? Yes, Akechi. That's what that means. Yes. It all seems unbelievable, but it happened in the blink of an eye. When I came to, all the customers had disappeared, and the entrance was barred. I quickly began searching the theater and found this customer, Hikari-san. That means light in Japanese! Wow! Due to my responsibility as curator, I've taken her under my care. Aw. Uh, 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 I, um, uh, uh, calm down, Futaba. It's okay. I know strangers are scary, but you can do this, girl. Girl power, you got this. Um, uh, um, yeah, hey, hey, wait, 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 huh? You're... You're shaking a lot. What? Yes. It's likely from the shock. She's awfully frightened. Oh, he's talking about Hakari. Gotcha. I've remained by her side in hope of staving off some of her anxiety. Oh, that's right. Hey, do you happen to see Haru Makoto anywhere? On um, they don't know who those people are. They're our friends, but we got separated on the way here, so we're looking for them now. Your friends? Mm-hmm. Have you seen them? We looked everywhere. But we can't find them. What do your friends look like? Could you provide us with descriptions or perhaps even a photo? Uh, well, 
one's all spiky and the other one's got an axe. I promise we're not delinquents. <laughs> oh, I know, Yusuke, could you sketch him real quick? <laughs> I could if I had some supplies. I'm sure you can figure something out. He takes a piece of popcorn. Voila, I've made a sculpture. <laughs> Haru's hair. Uh, very well, I'll fetch you some suitable materials. Oh, wow. Now it takes care of that. Oh, very good. Yusuke, you're so talented. Oh my. They look like this. A little bit. I'm not gonna flatter myself. Wow, that's so them. Could have just said they're beautiful though. I'm pretty sure she would have figured it out, but those two. If I recall correctly, they were in the movie. Huh? Isn't that right, Hikari-san? Uh, um, movie? You know them? Um, Nagi-san? Um, whisper, 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 whisper. Hikari is whispering to Nagi. Okay. What's with the whispering? She's nervous, okay? Chill. She could just tell herself, right, Akira? I mean... We're strangers. She's scared of us. Mostly you, Ryuji. Because you lower the tone. Hmm. Could definitely be why she's so cautious. Some kind of weird talking cat's way scarier than me. Don't call me weird. Oh my God. God. Please do not fight again. Please. Um. Um. Looks like they're ready to share. Just as I thought. Both Akari-san and I have seen your friends. We saw them in the movie. Just like the rest of you. What? Huh? What do you mean, in the movie, huh? Those two were originally from your group, correct? Uh, yeah. They were, but, uh, in the movie part is what makes no sense. We'll leave all this for later. So what exactly happened with those two? They've been captured by a character named Kamoshida, man. <laughs> That's a localization. Uh, Kamoshida, man, what? What's going on here? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I, I... I'd like to also know how he is back. What? That sound. It's starting again. Eh? What's that supposed to mean? I believe... Do? I think that's how you say that. Has begun playing the movie. Do? Movie? Exposition? You'll understand better if you see it for yourselves. <laughs> ヒーローに不平を並べる愚かな悪が現れる。ん？なっかるヒレ。正義のヒーローに意見するなど、言語道断。果たしてカムシダーマンは正義に立てつく悪を倒すことができるのか？絶対的ヒーロー、カムシダ
What's up with this goofy costume? A trailer made for him. How to be the protagonist. Is he in any other films here? I have no idea. That movie you just previewed has been the only one playing all this time. Uh, how evil reruns. Um, what do you mean? It's truly odd. Ever since the anomaly occurred, only that movie has been playing in here. Are you aware of the strange projections currently in the projection room? The one that's all spongy. That's the projectionist. It's not some doll. It's alive. We just call him that since he plays the films. But we have no idea who or what he may truly be. That bizarre being appeared in the projection room after the anomaly struck this theater. We know not his intentions, only that he continues to play the same film over and over. Wow, that's creepy. He scares me. I, I don't want to get near him. Oh, he's not that bad. Uh, for the time being, we've been calling him Doe. Uh, Doe, like cookie Doe Doe or Doe Marie, like, no. It comes from John Doe. What? That's my name. What the crud? This is weird. What? John who? Huh? Some kind of foreigner? You know anyone by that name? Uh, that's the name for like a placeholder body. That's a weird thing to name him, Miss Nagi. Uh, that's right. I'm surprised you knew. It's the name used for unidentified male corpses. Primarily in police investigation and autopsies. Okay, I catchy. Too much info. Has Doe done anything else besides screening that movie? No, nothing at all. He doesn't even react when spoken to. He's a wholly mysterious oddity. We try our best not to interact with him. A uh, good idea, I guess. God, that is kind of scary. Um, <laughs> reminds me of how I used to be. You that fat? Futaba? That's not know what I mean. Did you say something? Uh, uh, n no, it's nothing. <laughs> But the movie Doe's playing, why is Kamoshida in it at all? Let alone the starring role. Is there some kind of connection between Doe and Kamoshida? Were they friends in high school? We'll never know. Perhaps it's a connection between this theater and Kamoshida. Hmm, please wait a moment. It seems that you've misunderstood. Only since you've all arrived here has the movie become this one entitled Kamoshida Man. Uh, become? Before you arrived, the movie playing in here was not titled Kamoshida Man. That title is not getting any easier to say without smiling. Wait, what? Then Kamoshida wasn't originally the star? The film's plot was the same, but the face and the name of the hero were entirely different. Uh, how can a movie's character suddenly change like that, though? Magic. Lady on, probably. I don't know. So all of these strange events, including the adaptive film, are tied to the anomaly. Your own leaping out of the movie as well. This has been an unending series of surprises. Uh, well, uh, what did you just say? We leapt out of the film? Yes. You all suddenly popped out of the movie theater screen. Uh, wait, wait, what? How does that make any sense? Um, it doesn't, and it probably never will. <laughs> but you did indeed appear from the screen. Hikari san, you witnessed it too, no? Uh, uh-huh. It's such a shock to us that we hurried, hid ourselves amongst the seats. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's seriously impossible just to pass through a movie screen like that. Is anyone even surprised? <laughs> Reiju's hand passed right through the movie screen. I thought you could only do that with TVs, what? M my hand? My hand like, winks into the screen? Dude! That really happened, oh my. This is absolutely unbelievable. And we're phantom thieves, what? <laughs> Hold on a sec. If Makoto and Haru were inside the movie earlier, 
does that mean we left them behind in the place on the other side of the screen? I'm afraid that appears to be the case. Basically, if we want to rescue them, our only option is to go back inside the film. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. We gotta go save them! Right, leader? Uh, yeah, no duh. Let's do it. Come on, what are we waiting around for? Alright, let's get to- Wait... Are we supposed to just jump in? Uh, Nagi-san? What's that? Okay, um... She's whispering to Nagi again. It's kinda cute. I mean, what- Hikari-san is terribly worried about your safety. Aww. Since it's dangerous inside the movie, she thinks it's way easier for you to stay here. Uh... Thanks for the warning, but that danger only makes us more worried about them. Yeah, we have to get in there ASAP for our friends. Uh-huh. Uh for your friends? Uh, but friends are... Eh. Uh, Kari, what are you about to say? Okay, everybody brace yourselves. We ain't got no time. Let's get to it. Jump! Three, two, one. Wait! Eh. What up? <laughs> uh... All right, three, two. <laughs> Please wait a second. Hikari is consulting with Nagi about something. Is that okay? Y yes, I understand. Hikari-san is still worried about you. Well, too bad we got grabbed you, dang. So she's asked me to lend you my help. Do you have anything in mind that could benefit us? Perhaps some popcorn? Indeed. Oh, snap. <laughs> I may be able to offer some assistance. Won't you please follow me? Okay. Nagi is heading toward the concession stand. Oh, what? We're really about to get some grub? She's gonna help us. Let's see what she's up to before you go back in the movie. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> Gosh, what? Eh? <laughs> I can only read hmm as eh. I don't know why. But I think I like that fits Ryuji's character, but. The heck is this? A, a Kamoshida man sign? This wasn't here earlier, right? Did this pop up while we're watching the Kamoshida Man trailer? What? Remember what Nagi said? She said the movie details changed when we came to this place. So perhaps... There could be a correlation. But I don't think we'll reach an answer at this point. No matter how long we hypothesize. That's true. Nagi-san's waiting for us at the concession stand anyway. Let's head over there. Alright. As long as I get some grub... <laughs> The concession stand. Would you, would the merchandise here be of any use? Since the anomaly occurred, the stock here appears to have changed quite a bit. Uh, okay. Seems like equipment and items can be purchased from the concession stand. Wow, that's really cool thematics. I like that. Also be able to store and receive items here. Cool. Wow. This will be really helpful. Don't you think? Yeah, definitely. We should prep here before heading into the movie. After all, we could get attacked by those weird guys again. The cops are one thing. That huge one? The heck was that giant bird-like thing? A uh, giant bird-like thing? I'm... Um, that's gonna be too much effort to say every time. Rename it! What? Uh, oh, okay, um... How about chicken, dude? <laughs> too straightforward and super lame. Th then you name it! Uh, me? Um... Chicky... Peep peep? <laughs> what? Why'd you make it sound cute? It was obese! What? Considering how fiercely it pursued us, I'd name it... The Raging Avian Scent from Hell! And we just... We can just ignore, ignore. <laughs> Since it's a monster in a movie, why not name it something movie-related? We... Do not need to name the monster! Just kill it! What? Okay, movie-related. Um... I don't know about all this, um, cinema, <sighs> movie, a movie monster, perhaps something like film obscurity in Tunde. What, what, what? You lost me. <laughs> Filmio Scurite? Sc Is this some kind of tongue twister? <laughs> Why French, though? Well, movies originated in France. I, yeah, I guess they did, huh? It's not bad, but it's way too long. I like my tongue get all tied up. Let's see. Why don't I abbreviate it F-O-E? Hmm. Agreed. I'd be able to say that without biting my tongue, too. <laughs> Speak for yourself, sister. Because I'm going to say it a lot, and I just might. Hey, are you cool with us naming it as that? Uh, yeah. 
I prefer chicken, dude. <laughs> it honestly was funny. Cut it out, dude. Let's just go with FOE, because honestly, whatever you picked, we're still going to call it that because of Veteran Odyssey branding, but no matter the name, that FOE is powerful. It'd be best for us to avoid meddling with it. But why are we being pursued in the first place? Who cares? <laughs> us? What? We'll figure it out later, man. Find a Makoto and Haru comes first. Yeah? Hmm. Sorry. It's just a bad habit of mine. With what being a detective and all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to that freaky screen. Hold on, Futaba. Can you navigate us outside the movie? Uh, I think I can manage. Wait, can we just leave Futaba here by herself? We, we won't. Uh, I've decided to stay behind too. I want to investigate the theater and see if I can gather some intel. Uh, what sort of intel? Did we already look at everywhere we could? Everyone. Can I talk with you for a sec? Uh, yes. What's going on? And why are we whispering? I don't think Ryuji's capable of- It's not about Nagi. It's about Nagi and Hikari. They've been nice to us, but we've only just met them. The best strategy right now would be to investigate whether or not they're being honest with us. I see your point. So for now, you guys go check inside the movie. Got that, Joker? Uh, what were we doing again? Yeah, sure, I'm on a bus. Don't sweat it. They can count on me. Alright, that's settled. We'll leave the, the remainder of the movie theater to you. Uh, hey, so, uh, Nagi-san, Hikari, um, Morgana and Futaba are gonna stick here, okay? That's no problem for us. But, you're really going in there? Even though it's dangerous? Uh, well, it's, it's like I said before, our friends are the ones in danger. So we gotta rescue them. That's what friends do, yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, let's get going, guys. Yeah, I'll count on you. But don't go too far in there. Come back if there's an issue. Okay, you be safe too, Morgana. Wait. Is there something else? Here's his popcorn. Oh, she's so adorable. Car is offering the popcorn to me. Could that be for us? Take it with you. Thank you. I will. I guess that's like the healing item of the game. That's neat. How they uh, kind of... Yeah, it is. Cool. Full disclosure, I, I think I already mentioned this in the episode. Haven't actually gotten to the gameplay yet of this game. I'm kind of just, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. But then I'll break down the game and like you know, figure everything out. But well then, we should begin our mission. Our mission. Hey, I've been wondering... If we get back in the movie, we'll most likely transform again, right? Meaning they'll watch us turn into the Phantom Thieves? Uh, the Phantom Thieves? Uh, oh crap, she figured it out! Oh no! Uh, uh, the, uh, about the Phantom Thief thing, um... Is that from a recent criminal case? Or perhaps some new picaresque crime biopic I've yet to hear of? I knew some of those words. I don't get it either. Seriously, you two don't know the Phantom Thieves? Okay, that's probably for the better. Um, I'm blown away over here. It's okay, Ryuji, chill. I'm sorry. I don't keep much with current events. This goes for Hikari-san as well, apparently. <laughs> One day you'll hear about us in the Quit pitching a fit about it. We don't want them to know. True. Speaking of these Phantom Thieves, there's one thing I'm rather curious about. Were the costumes and special effects in the movie cosplay related? Or some similar situation? Ah, uh, she totally saw everything. Oh my god, we're screwed. Um, about that. Nagi-san, we're not certain ourselves. While we're inside the movie, we can somehow harness this power called a persona. <laughs> Can't she be lying? <laughs> it may be a similar situation on how the hero in the movie was altered to become Kamoshida Man. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, he really sold that. Wow, god dang, he's used to this. My, is that so? Hmm, so many perplexing developments. It'll take some time for me to process all of this. It seems that we've had a great deal of investigating ahead of us. Let's hurry back to the theater. Yeah, let's get to it. I'm ready to start the dungeon crawling. But before we do that... I'm going to take a time to talk about the UI, all that stuff. I might need to explain some things for those new 
to the Persona series and all that. So we got some options here. We can shop around. Let's see what they got. Oh my gosh, John Doe is chilling out here with us. Oh, she runs the stand. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, you're here. May I have a moment of your time? I noticed something curious amongst the merchandise, and I wish to tell you about it. Uh, oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Of course. It's called a Go Home. The description lists an item to return to the theater. Okay, that is good. I wanted to talk about that. Perhaps it could be of use. If it pleases you, by all means, take one. It's on the house. Aw, you shouldn't have. So this is the most important item in the game. Uh, currently. Saving your progress can only be done if it's the same as PQ1 outside of the theater. So you kind of want to get these items so you don't game over and lose a lot of progress. That's not a problem on safety, but you know, for every other difficulty, yeah. This is a super important item. Uh-huh, so using this will bring us back to the theater? Securing an escape route is important. It may be best to have one on hand before we head out. Mm. If you find it useful, please consider purchasing them from here on in. Wait, why well, I gotta buy these? I thought we were on the same team. The crud. I'm running a business here, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is where we go to uh, not only sell items, which is a big part of this game, because that's how you get money, um, among fighting monsters and shadows and stuff. This is where you go to get equipment. And wow, our starting party is really cool. Not gonna lie. I wanted to use a catchy and, um, you know, Joker on the same team at the start. Also, Takamaki. She's kind of my favorite girl, but, uh, that's a really, actually, I should probably buy a couple more popcorns, because as we all know, I'm a very reckless individual, so I'll get like two more since Akari already gave us five gr gusty fries, so it's like greasy fries, and a clean soda. I like, I like this. I like how it's like all movie theater themed. That's, that's not, it's, it takes a lot of creativity to do that, because there's not a lot to movies. I guess I shouldn't say that, because they literally made a whole game around it, but you know what I mean, as far as a concession stand goes, you only got so many items. You got your nachos, you got your french fries, you got your popcorn, you got your pop, or soda, if you live in other places in the world. Okay, enough of <laughs> me. I just really am excited to start this game. So let's actually do that, now that the kind of lengthy intro is over, and all right, let's hurry up and see Makoto and Haru. The inside of this movie seems pretty complex, though. Hope we don't get lost. Futaba, can you navigate us? Uh, I've been doing some testing and it seems like I can't do it like usual. Uh, oh, that's not good. Seems somewhat unstable. Like I can't get a clear grasp of the location info. Perhaps you've suffered from some sort of interference? It's possible that whoever brought it, that anomaly is tampering with her readings. Oh, well, that sucks. Although it's not like we can ditch our friends. We gotta go. With the wild navigation, don't worry. I'm pretty in tune with my sixth sense. It's my wild side intuition. Uh, I don't trust that in the least. <laughs> Would this help? The script? What? A notebook? Mm. Could you use this? Oh, awesome. We could do it the old-fashioned way. Drawing our own maps. I see. You don't have to worry about getting lost if we draw our own map in the notebook. Hey, Joker. As you proceed in the movie, map out your route and your surroundings. As long as you keep that thing updated, you definitely won't get lost. Oh, but Are you sure we can use this, Akari? Do you need it for anything? I, um... I had that when I woke up here. I don't know what I could use it with it, so I guess you can use it. Actually, I want you to use it. Then don't mind if we do. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Akira, I believe that we should leave the map creation to you. Aren't you the artist, though? Uh, all right, I'm on it. Don't sweat it. <laughs> yes, such a task would be best suited for our leader. You still intend to go in there? Please be sure that you don't push yourselves too hard. <laughs> don't misunderestimate us. This'll be a cinch. If we jump on the screen once in the movie, right? This is quite different process from how we entered palaces. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> what, what? What are we? Aren't you gonna jump in? Uh, why do I gotta go first? Yusuke, you. We humans seem to have difficulty stealing ourselves in the face of the unknown. Sheesh, really, you guys. Joker, you should take the first leap. Make us proud. 
All right, I'm on it. <laughs> See you later, suckers. <laughs> now that's our leader. You really are great at this. And so handsome. God, I love... Then it's decided. Take it away, leader. Everyone, be careful. Here we go. The first avenue of Kamoshida Man. The first movie of the game, or Stratum, as I'm probably gonna call him, but eh, we'll get to that later. Whoa, is this for real? We seriously got inside the movie, dude. Uh, we we did this literally before. Oh my. Now how should we proceed from here on? It would be wise to wander. It wouldn't be wise to wander around aimlessly. I agree. Let's get that map out. Uh, what's that noise? Um. Hey, I don't know who this is. Is that Oracle? Oracle, can you hear us? Uh, glad I can see you guys. Looks like you're doing just fine. Wait a sec. Why are you in your Phantom Thief attire too? Aren't you inside the... Search me. All I know is that my outfit transformed the moment you guys went into the movie. What? Okay. <laughs> How does all this crazy stuff even work? Uh, Just metaverse bullcrap. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> well, no point thinking about it. There's still an awful lot we don't know yet. This sounds... Okay, I gotta pause for a second. I don't know who did the soundtrack. I don't think it was Maguro. But this is a jam and a hat. Like, this sounds like actual Sonic music. I'm so excited. Gosh. Anyway, everything's good on my end. So we'll back you all up, no problem. In that case, sorry to ask for something so quickly, but could you possibly take a quick look through the movie with your persona's power? Mm, nope, I already tried. Even now I can only navigate because I can tell where you guys are, but that's all. You can't see where Queen or Noir are either. Saw we. It's okay. Alright, well, I'll just have to look for him. Yeah! Still, it looks like I can back everyone up and battle like usual. Don't worry about that part. Okay, cool. Got it, and you can count on us to find those two. Alright then. Make sure you draw on your map and you move along so you don't end up lost. Any problem with using the notebook in there? Uh, everything seems to be in order. Shall we begin our exploration? Yeah, let's get started. And this is the first thing you gotta know about Persona Q2. It's not like your standard Persona game. Instead, we navigate a 2D dungeon and we have to draw our map as we go, which I find incredibly fun, but we're probably not gonna be doing a lot of that on screen because it's a very tedious and time consuming process. And since this is a guide and all, man, this place is pretty. Holy crud, I love the tile set. But uh, since this is a walkthrough, in the future, I will be drawing the maps ahead of time so we can get through the dungeons at maximum efficiency. Yeah, what the, oh, <laughs> that's just the battle starting. Okay, that kind of surprised me, but here we go. Another fight against some measly shadows. They're here. Yeah, that's how random encounters work. And just like I thought, they seem different from the ones before. Regardless, they're still our enemy. They stand in our way, they must be defeated. Uh, yeah. And Nari's right for once. Um, they don't look too strong. So charge in there like always. Got it! So, just like in Persona 5, all the affinity of elements are back, including Bless and Curse, which is really cool, among other skills. And this is why I love the Q games so much. You get so many, so many new toys to play with, and I'm so excited to check them all out. But starting off, oh, Lion Guard. So I guess Ryuji's like our tank. That is, that's new. That's what I'm talking about. But we don't have to worry about defenses, at least this early in the game. Let's get in there with, uh, Giant, oh. So Giant Slice with Yusuke actually has different properties than Joker's gun attack. That's awesome. But let's get our turn ready, and, oh, that looks cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped up for this. These guys are actually a lot more, Resilient than I thought they were going to be, but they are weak to that. So we got a boost. And a boost, if it works identical to Persona Q1, a lot of things could have changed and I would not have known, but a boost, if you preserve it through the enemy's turn, right, you will get a free attack. So it won't cost you anything. This is incredibly important for healers because surviving through the dungeons is also part of the game. Not just beating down the foes. You gotta get that boost, you gotta keep it, and you gotta usually get all the all-out attacks, and it, it, the game's just explaining what I literally just said. So anyway, uh, <laughs> let's uh, go on to round two, and we can get an IHOP for free. I'm actually gonna go for the single shot. This is gonna hit the guy in the back, which is kind of been a problem for us. Let's, um, yeah, we use Giant Slash, no reason not to. But you see, 
Giant Slash doesn't actually do anything for the back row. It only affects the front row and does an additional attack. A lot of attacks in this game function differently than they did in the, you know, standard Persona games, which is what I like about them. It's kind of like almost a remix. Holy crud, that did a hundred damage at level one. Oh my gosh, Inari missed. How is that even possible? Hopefully, um, Crow can help us out. Oh my gosh! Bro! Robin Hood's, like, render or, like, sprite, whatever you want to call it. Gosh. Looks so good. I'm a big fan of Robin Hood. I, I, I'm sure a lot of other people are. Actually, I don't know if he's that popular or not, but, uh, yeah, we're doing fine. We did not take hardly any damage. As always, though, you do have the rush command, and I'm probably going to be using this a lot through the playthrough, just because some of the animations can be a little lengthy. But we won! Is anyone even remotely surprised? And upon level up, we're going to get a new skill for our main persona. More on that later, once we unlock the Velvet Room, which I'm sure will happen eventually. But with that, we've won our second battle. It seems that can use our personas here without any issues after all. Yeah, but something feels off. It's like I'm not strong as, or as fast as I used to be. What gives? Well, we are in a different world now. Perhaps we have to start over here. Oh my gosh. By the way, what should we do with this stuff? There's some shards of those shadows we just defeated. I haven't the faintest idea of their worth. If we could only somehow use them. Uh, Nagi says she'll buy them from us. At the concession stand? Well, that settles that. <laughs> For real? Then we'll be able to afford all sorts of things at the stand. Let's keep taking down shadows. Yeah, sounds good to me. Perhaps I should sell these shards next time I go to the concession stand. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. But that's going to have to be for the next episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching this part. I know the introduction was a little bit on the lengthy side, but I wanted to get to the meat and potatoes of the game as fast as possible so I could draw my maps. Where's my stylus? Yeah! <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Next time on Persona Q2, we investigate the first Kamashita Ward. So see you guys then. Bye.